All right. Well, we got this big box of six beers. Beer of the summer. Um, I haven't done any of these except for one, the White Lantern. But he hasn't had it, so it's going to be a beer review. Choose one. Let's see here. Let's do some Belgian. All right. You got Craftsman. 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 Holy shit! I guess beer got on it. <laughs> Since there's uh, two of each, uh, we're each gonna have one. This has got a good microphone on it, I'm telling you. Yeah, even says stuff inside the cap. Hmm, perhaps it's a dumbass. <laughs> mm, that does smell pretty good. Hmm. I almost stopped pouring. <laughs> you see, you know, half. A little bit of tint color, but pretty light. Mm. Sweet and caramely. Yeah. That smells good. Mm hmm. Hopefully, it's not too sweet, though. First beer of the day. <laughs> That's unusual. Kind of a peppery, kind of a. It has a little bit of caramely in it. Mm -hmm. Coriander, a little orange, very slight citrus. Have you ever had a Ho Garden? It tastes like a Ho Garden light. <clears throat> Your damn dog is loud. noise for such a little thing, huh? Um, it does say the alcohol percentage on top of the box. I don't remember what all of them were, but we can we can guess. It's, but they are different? Yeah, they're all different. Okay. It might even say it on the bottle. It does because I don't remember which one I picked up, but I saw one of them did say it on the bottle. I don't remember which one was I picked up from. The only bad thing about this beer, as I can tell, I'm burping a lot. Yeah, I've burped about every drink I've taken. Yeah. Carbonated. Yeah. Some carbonation. It's very light, very drinkable. Yeah, it, it's like it does. It's taste a, is like slowly, like fading with each drink. Like the first drink, I taste a lot more flavor than I have each drink after that. It's really filling, or not filling. Um, what were you thinking? Full? No. Um, I don't fucking know. Full flavor? There you go. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. Satisfying. Yes. Easy drink. Yeah, I definitely see it being a summer beer. Um, very smooth. I do know all the alcohol range between mid fours, low fours maybe, to high fives. Oh, some of them are in high fives? Yeah. I'm going to go with a 5.3. Exactly what I was thinking. Oh. 4.3. 4.3. Oh shit, we were a whole percentage off. We're not normally that far off. <laughs> Good though. Very smooth. So what do y'all prefer, the yeah. summer or the winter? Huh? Hmm? Huh? You know like y'all were doing beer reviews over winter beers? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which one y'all preferred more. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Ain't gonna be able to get that drink down. Well, Steven's gonna grow his beard back. Yeah. If you already see, you know, the others starting to slowly catch up with the goatee. Yeah. Hardy's <laughs> starting to make its way to the front. <laughs> way the way over. Yeah, it seems that he's gonna grow it this time and he's gonna go even bigger and longer yeah. than last time. Duck Dynasty beard. Yeah, and it's funny because I do it every time and it's dead heat of summer. <laughs> it started every time that heat of summer. I like it. That's it. But the thing is, it takes that long before it actually gets way out here for winter. When are you growing yeah, your side? That was about seven months. Yeah. When are you growing your side, Jason? I don't know. You're already going. I'll have to keep on letting it go. I don't know. I'll probably wait until this fall and let it just take off and leave it alone for the winter. I, I just can't see. Whenever I got my haircut and I shaved, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so much cooler. <laughs> and then in the yeah. mornings, it's so cold, I'm like, oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, definitely summer. I don't know if I could handle that much heat in my face. Sweat all dripping out of it. Yeah. Especially until this year, I'm going to have a whole lot more property now sitting on that tractor fucking brush hogging. <laughs> I wonder if those trails are going to grow anything. Some of them are a little bit. Um, flavor's almost non-existent now. Yeah, it, it's turned to, like, the flavor's not this, I'm not saying that, but going down as smooth and not as much flavor as, like, one of your regular domestic beers, like your uh, Bud, Light. Bud Lights and stuff like that. It's really starting to slowly taste more like you just grabbed a Bud Light out of the fridge. Yeah, it's, this would be good with food. Maybe a, something with a little salt, like pork chop. Chicken fried steak. Drop a little bit of bear salt in there or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I like it. Yeah, it's not bad. Very drinkable. Yeah. Easy drink. Smooth. It's a nice little... Houses on there. Would you buy it again? Probably. Yeah. I'd I'd rather get a hoe garden if it's the probably the same price because it's got it's got this about the similar flavor but it's a lot more potent and it stays with you longer. I mean, but it all depends on what you're wanting the beer for. I do I do not like having to burp a lot. Yeah, that's the only thing that's really turned me off on this one. Because, like, almost every drink you take, it's like, wait a second. But, yep. But, yeah. That's, I'd say it's. Oh, yeah, we have rated good. it. Um, what? Belgian beers? Oh. I think what, does. what, Belgian beers? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Seven and a half. I gave it a seven. It's, uh, to me, it's a little above average. Um, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Definitely not bad. No. Just not a... Your first drink, you taste a lot of flavor, and then after that... Well, halfway through, it's pretty much gone. But Each drink, it's like less and less flavor you're tasting. Yep. It's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, definitely, if you're going to drink it, eat food. Um, because if not, you're going to get sick of that beer really quick. Nice seasoned up pork chop right off the grill. Mm -hmm. We just ate spaghetti. <laughs> we just ate spaghetti. Alright, let's go to the next beer.